If you're in one of those states, you should be killing it right now. If I was a real estate agent in one of those states, I would be seeking wholesalers out. I would be holding classes on how to wholesale and everything would be coming through me. Here, yeah, you can sign, yeah. I put my John Hancock right there. If I was an agent in those states or a broker, I'm, I'm encouraging wholesaling and let them funnel right through me. What y'all think about that? Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. Tick tock, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 964 524392. Do you need an LLC or a real estate license to wholesale houses? All right, so let's do the LLC part of it. Do you need an LLC to start wholesaling houses? The answer is no. You don't need one to start wholesaling houses, but you are running a business. So after your first deal, if you can't afford to do your marketing and or put together put, put an llc in motion then you want to choose the marketing and advertising over that start generating lease so you can make some money after your first deal you can then go ahead and get that into motion okay so um like i said you are running a business so you need to be operating under a business entity so to answer your question no, you don't need one to start wholesaling, but like I say, after a first deal or two, you definitely want to establish um, your LLC or whatever business entity you want to pursue. Some people do an S Corp or uh, Inc. or you know, there's some other uh, business entities you can register on that's going to only going to be on a personal preference. That's what you can seek out a CPA for. All right, so we got that part of it answered. The other part of it is, do you need a real estate license? to wholesale houses, all right? Now, in three states currently, as the date of this video, the state of Illinois, the state of Kansas, the state of Oklahoma, from my understanding, require you to have a real estate license or a broker's license. Um, I, and so you just take the test and do it. Now, in other states, you're good to go. So in those states, the states that do require a license the wholesale real estate, like I say, Kansas, Oklahoma, and the state of Illinois. All right, now, if you don't wanna go through the process of trying to get a license, you're like me, um, hope you're better than me. I know you are. Um, and you can't pass the test or you don't wanna take it. So I don't believe I can pass it. That, that's, that's my problem. So, so, what, so what can you do? You can do a couple of things. If you just avoid your state and where you live all together and just virtual wholesale, or you get creative. And I'm gonna give you these creative juices so you can be in, inspired, right? Real estate agents buy all types of services. They pay people to design and print their business cards. They pay people to design and print their signs or banner signs that go into the yard. They pay for all types of apps. They pay to be they pay to advertise on Zillow and sites like that. Uh, they pay for uh, TV, radio, Facebook ads, signage on their vehicle. So they're always buying. Oh, they they may pay a company to stage properties for them. They may um, charge that to the seller though, but it's still on the service or whatever. But um, for, oh, they pay for MLS, access to MLS, and normally that's hefty for a lot of them. So they're always paying for services. So guess what you can do as a wholesaler? I don't care what market you're in, they're always going to be struggling brokers or agents, right? Meaning that they're barely doing deals, may have never even done one before, had a closing. So what I would do is use the power of networking this thing called the internet and within the internet they have this website called facebook to network and try to find some someone that wants to partner with you right you may just be the one that's generating all the leads the only thing you're really doing is just using their license and so with that being said 
How are you going to get paid if you all are partner and everything is going in their name? As I mentioned earlier, they pay for all types of services. One service I didn't mention was a website. A website can cost any amount of money you want to put on it if someone is willing to pay for it. Right now, Facebook is basically a website. Obviously, they have an app version or whatever, but it's basically a website. It's probably worth a half a billion to a trillion dollars. So I would like to think that's like a, a, a number that you could put on any website. It, it, anything less than that is, is doable if someone's willing to pay for it. So what you would do is, is that you would partner with them or you don't really have to be some quote unquote partner. But each time that you find a property, they put it on the contract under their name. You go register the website name, a.k.a. the domain name. If the street address is 1280 Wolfgang Drive, Chicago, Illinois, you go register 1280 Wolfgang Drive dot com or dot net dot biz. It doesn't matter. Right. Then you have the registered domain name, the registered website name. You go to one of these free website building services, Wix, W-I-X, or Weebly.com, W-E-E-B-L-Y, and you post pictures of that property, the specs on the property, three red bedrooms, baths, and all that stuff, video of that property on that domain name, 1280wolfgangdrive.com. So whenever you all close on the property, say you all are going to make $22,000 on the deal and you, you're supposed to get 50% of that. Guess what you're going to sell that website to them for? $11,000. And that's how to be invoiced on the actual HUD so you don't have to worry about them giving your, you your money. It'll be on the invoice for website development, $11,000 going to Mr. Wholesaler Web Development, whatever you want to name it. Right, or it could be your name, doesn't matter. Boom, and I didn't say that over and over. People that did watch me know I went through that. I, I, that was probably the most detailed I've ever been through it or whatever. So, but hopefully that makes sense on that process. See, they, they, they're they going to try to come up with laws to stop people from making money in different ways or not. The people that are creative out here, I ain't the most creative. I'm okay, I do okay. See, they don't understand the business. So they, when they write their laws, it's going to be loopholes, always. That's why some people will avoid paying taxes because it's, it would, as, as, as old as the tax code is, there's still tons of loopholes in there for individuals that like, well, if I do this and I won't have to do this, oh, okay, uh, okay, we'll roll with that. So if you're in one of those states, you ought to be happy, happy, happy that was passed. Because guess what? That gets rid of a lot of, a comp a lot of the competition because most people that want to wholesale in those states won't even try. Because they've heard, oh, you can't wholesale here. They just made that a law. You see this article right here? Yeah, that is what that say. But let me show you something. If you're in one of those states, you should be killing it right now. If I was a real estate agent in one of those states, I would be seeking wholesalers out. I would be holding classes on how to wholesale. And everything will be coming through me. Here, yeah, you can sign. Yeah, I put my John Hancock right there. If I was an agent in those states or a broker, I'm I'm encouraging wholesaling and let them funnel right through me. What y'all think about that? Boom. So I hope this video helped. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Ask Flipman, and you should see a video on the screen now that will help you with text messaging.